Our nation's economy rolls on 18 wheels. The food we eat, the goods we purchase, all delivered by the hardworking men and women who drive the trucks. For most motorists, a traffic ticket is little more than an expensive inconvenience. For truckers, it can mean their jobs. Truckers are the most persecuted group of workers in the country. No other group actually loses their ability to make a living over a couple of traffic tickets. Trained, professional CDL drivers are held to a completely different and more stringent set of standards than their untrained four-wheel counterparts. It's an uneven playing field. The deck is stacked against the professional driver. On the average, a CDL driver now gets over one and a half tickets per year. Not because of a lack of training or respect for the law, but because they are revenue targets. So how does the CDL driver begin to survive in a workplace so tilted against him? In 1991, a group of accomplished truck drivers sat down to address that very question. What they came up with is now driver's legal plan. The first thing they recognized was that the truck driver effectively has no legal rights on the side of the road. The man with the badge holds all the cards there. The only chance a driver has to tell his side of the story, and perhaps save his job by keeping an unwarranted conviction off his record, is in a court of law. You need to understand that a ticket is not a proof of guilt. It is only an officer's judgment call. Really, a ticket means nothing unless it becomes a conviction. You should never pay a moving citation until you've had your day in court. Let's take a look at the law. Moving violations are divided into two categories, serious and non-serious. Non-serious violations that become convictions can easily accrue and result in license suspension. Whether you live in a state with a point system or one with a moving, non-moving citation system. Serious violations, however, can put your job in immediate jeopardy. Serious violations include speeding 15 miles an hour over, following too close, improper lane change, careless or reckless driving, no CDL in possession, railroad crossings. Sound familiar? Indeed. These are very common citations. If you get one of these common citations and decide to just pay it, you have just convicted yourself and put your job at serious risk. This ticket, combined with any convictions you get in your personal vehicle, count against your CDL. So, a ticket in your family car, or motorcycle, or even a boat could suspend you just as if you were in your truck. Making matters worse for truckers, anti-masking laws are now in effect nationwide. Simply put, that means that you can no longer contact a prosecutor's office and ask if you can get a violation off your record by taking traffic school or probation. Anti-masking makes the job driver's legal plan attorneys do more difficult, but entirely more important. Now you must have a qualified transportation attorney to defend your record. From an employer's standpoint, just one serious conviction makes you a risk. If you get another serious conviction any time in the next three years, you are automatically suspended for 60 days. I know I can't go two months without a paycheck. Can you? None of us can afford an unpaid 60-day layoff, but the DOT says you cannot drive a commercial vehicle. You are out of a job. Unless you have two months' savings to get by on, you are now in financial trouble as well. If you survive the 60-day suspension, who's going to hire you with two serious convictions on your record? Well, let's optimistically say that your employer did allow you to return to your job. What if, through absolutely no fault whatsoever on your part, a four-wheeler pulls in right across your front bumper? That happens often enough, right? Well, suddenly, you're pulled over and cited for following too close. If that completely unwarranted ticket becomes a conviction, you are now suspended for an additional 120 days. Let's add this damage up. If you're making, say, 800 a week, you have just lost over $20,000 in income and most likely your career as a truck driver. What can you do? Join Driver's Legal Plan. They have come up with a simple solution. First, they created a true national law firm completely dedicated to CDL defense with the interstate experience and expertise to help level that playing field. Finally, someone on your side. 
and then they made that legal representation affordable. Since 1991, the Drivers Legal Plan Law Firm has handled well over 100,000 CDL defense cases in essentially every court in this country. And more than 95% of the time, the driver does not have to appear in court. How can this kind of legal representation be affordable? Well, the truckers solved that too. They came up with a weekly retainer of $2.98. Imagine that. A driver can, typically through payroll or settlement deduction at his company, put the nation's most experienced CDL defense law firm on retainer for just $2.98 a week. Your company may also require a small administrative fee. With Driver's Legal Plan, you call a toll-free number from anywhere in the continental U.S., and a knowledgeable legal assistant will provide a quick, accurate, and free assessment of your legal situation. If the driver then decides to have his day in court, the Driver's Legal Plan law firm will defend him for a total legal fee of $100. $100 for a trained, experienced transportation attorney to represent the driver start to finish in the original jurisdiction. That's right, even if the attorneys represent the driver in a six-month jury trial and extend tens of thousands of dollars in his defense, the driver only pays a one-time total legal fee of $100. Now, that does not include fines or court costs. The law does not allow an attorney to do that, but it does cover all legal fees with no additional charges of any kind. Since Driver's Legal Plan is an actual law firm, there are no exclusions or limitations, such as an insurance or referral plan might have. Any moving or non-moving violation costs $100 total legal fee, $250 for a simple accident not involving loss of life or limb. Driver's Legal Plan attorneys will handle other legal matters that affect a driver's CDL too, including drug and alcohol violations. For one-third off their normal, agreed-in-advance flat fees, resulting in even greater savings. I got a ticket in Ohio for 67 and a 55. A lawyer friend of my cousin charged me $500, told me he got them down to 59 and a 55, which was supposed to be zero points. A month later, I get a notice from my home state of Illinois that my license is being suspended. I was going to get fired. My company safety man told me I was a member of Driver's Legal Plan and could have used them for $100. Well, their attorney got the case opened back up and got it reduced to a non-moving violation and the suspension dropped before it even took effect. I'll know better next time. They called me at the scales and told me my license had been suspended over an old parking ticket that I'd taken care of a couple years ago. They shut me down and it was already after lunch on Friday. I called Driver's Legal Plan and somehow their attorneys were able to get the record corrected, get proof back to the troopers at the scales, and get me back on the road before 5 o'clock. I thought for sure I was going to spend the weekend trapped at those scales. I'll never forget what they did for me. I've got a perfect driving record and paid for it. I'm not going to let an undeserved traffic ticket ruin it. On one wreck, Driver's Legal Plan saved me about three grand in legal fees. They got the ticket off my record. They saved my career. Fired for doing 40 on a motorcycle? Driver's legal plan attorneys got it reduced to non-moving. Saved my job. They saved me $8,200 in DOT fines on one stop. Took getting suspended for me to realize that driver's legal plan is career protection that I can't afford to be without. Driver's legal plan should not be misinterpreted as any kind of tolerance for breaking the law or company policy. It is not. It is solely in recognition that the safest, most experienced driving professional is very likely to be targeted on the road and perhaps unfairly blamed. Your future as a driver depends upon keeping your record clean. Get someone on your side. Fill out the application and join Driver's Legal Plan today. I'm Jim Klepper, attorney at law, founder and president of Driver's Legal Plan. My firm defends truck drivers. That's all we do. Since 1991, we are proud that our law firm has been able to save the jobs of thousands of good, quality truck drivers just like you. Now is your chance to put the most experienced CDL defense law firm in the country on your side. Sign up for Driver's Legal Plan today.